All right, so my name's Ryan, and uh, the power's out right now. It actually kind of sucks. You know, it's raining pretty hard. Probably just saw that lightning outside. And uh, just sitting here. There's no power. Watching live PD. Got my computer. Got no power. This really, really kind of sucks. Let's go to the other room. Hey, Lily. You watching TV? She's watching Boss Baby. Well, it really kind of sucks having no power. Alright, down into the basement where I still have no power. And down over there is my sump pump. How is this possible? My battery backup. Here, the sump pump getting filled up. There's a drain in that window. Everything from the sump pump goes down there, gets drained out, and my basement will be flooding right now if I didn't have battery backup. Hey, Lily. So let's look out the window. It's just dark everywhere down the street. Everybody's lights are off. Put my light up front. Still on. <sighs> still storming. Power's still out. My handy dandy flashlight. But I just wanted to show you my fridge. Turn off the flashlight. Fridge still has power. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but it works. All right, here's the deep freeze. Doesn't have a light, but still got power. It all comes from right here. There's my battery backup system. Batteries are sitting at 94%. Currently using about a little under 600 watts, which is just nothing. There's my solar charge regulator, and there's the inverter. Looks like about a few of those watts are going upstairs, not many. If the battery starts going too low, you can use this thing, charge it from the generator. Of course, that light over there, that's running off the solar. That's running off the solar. That radio over there runs off the solar. But what do I do with all this equipment on a normal day when the power is on? All right, so here we are in the basement. Wait for that thing to shut up. Which, by the way, in an emergency, I can run that thing. Okay, I think it's quiet now. In an emergency, I can run that sump pump, but right now, I'm running that off the grid. But, it's a normal day. I have grid power, so what do I do? My generator just sits out there collecting dust. I it depreciates and I'm not producing any power off of it. The only time it produces power is when I'm putting fuel into it. Alright, let's talk just for a minute about the amount of noise produced by a generator versus solar panel. I said let's talk about the noise. As of right now, I have grid power, and I'm not using the solar for anything that's an emergency. So what can I do with it? I'm charging three e-bikes right there to charge two dual battery e-bikes simultaneously. I'm 
this e-bike right here I went and picked up my kids from school yesterday on it. It's got two batteries and so I'm charging one of them right now. This e-bike over here is the one I go to work on and it also has dual batteries. One inside here and there's one along the frame. This one's charging the one in the rear and this one's charging the one in the front. That pink power about 500 watts going into the three e-bike batteries but I also have my Ryobi battery charging All right, one other thing about this little charging station I can charge my Milwaukee M12 and M18 batteries my Ryobi batteries but I also built this little shelf here and underneath there's a 12 volt to 6 USB and then I have three USB C's and three mini USB's or is that micro? I think that's micro either way I got three and three so I can do all of my USB charging right here whether the power is on or off I can charge up my USB appliances here this basically means that all the power that I use to get myself to and from work, to get my kids to and from daycare, and to get my groceries home from the grocery store, plus all the power that I use to mow my lawn, all comes from the sun. It's all produced right here on site. And it's all produced with something that I bought just for emergencies. I also have a generator just for emergencies, but my generator doesn't do this for me. Right now, I'm not using this for an emergency. This is just sitting here, just like my generator is doing, except for this is giving me power. It's giving me the power that I need to live my life, the power that I need to transport myself to places, and the power that I need to keep my lawn maintained, the power that I need to charge up all my USB devices, the power that I need to charge my cell phone, it all comes from here on a day-to-day -day basis. By the way, you can get a unit that's all in one, everything all put together, like this. This thing's got a power inverter. It's got 12 volt DC and it's got USB and I can charge it straight from a solar panel or I can charge it from 12 volt or I can charge it from the 110 volt grid. Very convenient thing to have but understand something if you buy one of these versus building your own it's gonna be a lot more dollars per watt hour.